today i'll show you the in depth of integrated extract we have already seen but i will cover some in depth theory for both the extract and the replicate Okay, sorry. All right. Uh, so yeah. So what? Uh, what had I showed you until now? If you remember, for integrated, we had shown that the log my minor, right? That will read the log minor, which is an in-house tool, right? The log minor tool. That will read your Redwan archive log. It will scan your Redwan archive log, and then it will give the. It should be like this, yeah. And then it should give the result or the changes, like logical change record to the extract, and extract will write them to the trail file. I hope you remember this that. In integrated extract is not doing the scanning work. It is the log minor. Is that clear? I hope you remember this. Hello. I just uh, give some quick uh, feedback. Here. Thank you. Okay. Right. So now. If uh, at that point I had told that I will tell some in-depth theory more. So this log minor and reading of the archive, right? This is not just a very straightforward thing. It's an inbuilt. There is a lot of things actually in between this, right? The integrated extract. Log archive, log minor. There are few, many other processes also, which are background processes. So, so let's see here. You can see here integrated extract here I. Now, what we have, like what we know, that the log minor we do the work for you for this scanning. So internally, these are the processes. The background processes which help you. <coughs> so let's see one by one. Reader, this is the file. So I, I hope the document can be seen, right? With the words, or do you want me to zoom it? Yeah, it's uh, it's fine. Okay. So what is reader? If you see, the first step is the reader. Reader. Reads the log file and splits into the origin. So now you might be having multiple Buridu log files, right? We do an archive. So the reader job is to split, logically split into areas, sorry, region. Okay, so it has, so suppose there are 10 or 15 Buridu log files, it will we divide them logically in some groups. And based on a and every group we have a preparer so what does this do this preparer scans the re scans the region of the log file and pre-filters based on the extract parameter so for example preparer one got for you log file sequence 10 or preparer two got 11 preparer three got 13 you know so forth so these preparers will scan their individual lot of log files. I'll do log files. That is how, like, 
uh, how do i mean if you remember i have shown in integrated extract i had used the parallelism plot right so parallelism is what parallel read so how does parallel read for comes into play like this with the more the over number of parallels the more is the parallel process so every the parallel will have its set of the rule of five <coughs> it will scan them and for example in the extract another file i have given some five six tables so it will try to look you where is his uh, where is his i think uh, not clear initially it was much clear okay it now is, uh, now is it uh, clear now is it clear yeah um, uh, a oh. bit better yeah okay might Thank be you. the mouse is moving you know because of that yeah 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 actually i i changed my mic from right to left so i feel the right one is better anyways so that's not an issue yeah that's fine yeah thank you so um yeah so for example the preparer will scan its respective archive logs and all the the respective set of the for redo log and the archive log and it will pre filter based on the extract parameter so for example extract you have you have given five tables right so it will split them i mean it will scan the respective redo log file and try to find any transaction with respect to those tables and what does builder do now as in preparer means it will parallelly reads set of redo log file right the archive log file so <coughs> for sure it is not in serial right so all these preparer will at once give the record to the builder so the job of the builder is to arrange them in the order of scn right because at the end scn is used for that only right so that every transaction has a pre defined order so we will know which what transaction came first which came afterwards all this and then capture formats logical change record and pass it to golden gate extract so here is the guy the capture guy which i mean the i mean what happened i'll say again reader among the set of your redo files and all we just logically split it into different regions and every region was allocated a preparer preparer simple it will scan the its respective set of the redo log file and all based on the parameter file of the extract and whatever changes or transaction for the respective tables of the extract it is able to find it will give it to the builder now thing is since all these guys are running in parallel the order will not be same so the builder job is to it will collect all the record from all the preparer and sort them in the order of the scn and then give it to the capture capture will convert them into lcr and give it to the integrated extract like this at the end we say we say right that it is converted into lcr right so this so the in between these things you know all which is happening is this thing reader preparer builder capture and all these things you can see in the alert log of five is what that is weird? that uh, region here what is that i mean uh, region here region means any any specific uh, something or like it region i mean uh, the input for the extract is the for redo log and archive log right so logically it is going going to split 
ओके प्रिपेयर वन रीड फ्रॉम रीडू लॉग सीक्वेंस फाइव टू सिक्स प्रिपेयर टू रीड फ्रॉम सेवन टू एट सो दैट वे बिकॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव पैरलिज्म इन रीडिंग सो यू नीड टू हैव वेरियस प्रोसेस रीड सेट ऑफ योर आई मीन दीडू लॉग फाइल राइट Parallelly, mm-hmm. if only one guy is doing the reading thing, it is not in parallel, right? And then it's the standard one. Extract will read the LCA from the log miner, perform the mapping, but I will transformation and by and write to the local tree. That's what is happening here. Ah, uh, this will be actually mostly used in interviews. because practically we don't actually work with these pro- these processes but yes these are actually there but individually can you don't uh, sorry can we see them i mean uh, you, you can, can see them in the alert, alert log file alert log file as such i have not seen it if you uh do some put transactions and if you scan your alert log log file you can easily see them prepare a capture applier and all understanding if time permits i will show to you <coughs> any doubt in the diagram up till now no if fine. you are asking me handling this process sorry uh, we can't do it we cannot handle them so these are part of the inbuilt uh, mechanism or to some audio to race i mean very rare thing that even oracle sr folks will get into these processes okay right yes now let's let's see what happens in indicated over applicator Trail files integrated duplicate target <coughs> so i'm just uh, skipping the extra extract part so here or integrated for duplicate will read from the trail files and write to the target isn't it it seems to be very straight forward right even the classic cooper applicate if you remember with this way only we draw the diagram right to for the present reading from the yes. trail file and writing it to the database right yes but in integrated okay for example if uh, we have a classic or applicate here okay okay so for example we have a classic super applicate here how will this apply it will read from the trail file and it will 
do an SQL apply, right? SQL apply means just as you log in to target database and you are applying some SQL. The same way your classic over applicant they will do. Isn't it? I hope this was clear. SQL yeah. apply with so but integrated will not do that way. In between there are whole set of processes. So if I say okay, well, listen to this statement, I can easily say integrated over replicate do not write to the target. There are other process which do the writing to the target. Integrated over replicate do not write. Classic were replicate, yes, you can say they write to the target, but not integrated. Any, I mean, I hope we'll be having some issues, right? Then who is applying, right? Yeah, any confusion here? I am saying integrated replicate is not actually the one which is applying the changes to the target. Isn't it creating issues now? All the no. time we knew that the replicate is applying to the target, right? But now I'm saying classic replicate is who directly uh, applying, but integrated over replicate is not applying. What did I, I mean, uh, confuse you all? No, it does not confuse because uh, this is the you know difference between you no know, classic and integrated uh, you know processes. So they definitely has been enhanced in a different way and designed also different way. So yeah, please. Good, good. So, so let's see. You are true only. Like something different is happening in integrated. So now. Again, see here, trail file and replicate. See, these things are common, right? Right? Trail file and replicate, same here. Now, replicate, after replicate, we have a lightweight streaming API. So these are the Java related, uh, I mean, programs, okay? So, so it's, it's, uh, it's an inbuilt thing, right? I have written the description here. So let me paste it in a notepad. So now, thing is, replicate reads from the trail file and constructs LCRs. So now, the very first thing is happening, right? Earlier, Extract used to get in terms of LCR and it was applying in the trail file. Now from the trail file, uh, it is being converted back into LCR by the replicate. And then it is transmitted through this lightweight streaming API to the target database or Oracle. Understanding? Construct LCR logical change record and transmit LCRs to Oracle database via lightweight streaming API. Is this clear? This one point. Yes. Now, here it's an inbound server. Okay. So here we have first thing is receiver. It reads LCR. Okay. Our receiver will read the LCR and give it to the preparer. Now, preparer, even in 
extract, the preparer was doing the maximum work. Same here. Here also, preparer will read the transaction which is a, which it is getting from the receiver and it will try to compute the relationship or the dependencies among the record based on the primary key or foreign key or unique key and foreign key now what does it mean it computes the dependencies between the transactions PK, UK, FK, grouping trans trans transactions and sorting in good dependency order. Okay, uh, I hope you remember, right? I had said that <coughs> replicate is not going to apply transactions in a serial way. Remember that, put that thing? Replicate is always not, it's, it's like it's going to apply in uh, you know the maximum parallelism way for example in source you have 10 transactions which are not related to each other so in target these 10 can be applied as one in one shot isn't it understanding Replicate is never going to apply in the exact serial way. All it is going to <coughs> see that, okay, uh, for example, 10 transactions in source were ran in serial, one after the another, and they are not you know, dependent to each other. And, okay, but if you apply these 10 transactions as a, as a one shot, the end results will be same, right? Because they are not dependent of the, 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 I mean, the, each other. So they can be fired in parallel, right? But rather than in a serial way, <coughs> isn't it? Understanding, right? No, I mean. Hello. Yeah, correct. Correct. So that is the thing. It is being happened here. So the parrot, if it wants to, you know, run maximum process in parallel or maximum transaction is parallel. So it has to first identify uh, which are the transactions which are not codependent uh, of each other. Right? So it will sort them, right? Okay, these guys I can run at once. Okay, now if you get a parent and child thing, okay, so we cannot overrun them parallelly. So they have to be run as a single group. All these things, how will you know from primary key and foreign key, right? So that was prepared as we will do, like the splitting and then coordinator coordinates transaction maintains the order between the applier post the thing is the preparer will understand it it will know okay which are the what transactions which are related to each other they have to be grouped as one well. which are the what transaction which can be run as a work separate group all these things it will identify and the actual apply thing is done by the applier here applier one two three but these applier needs some coordinator someone to manage them so that is coordinator so coordinates transaction maintains the order between the applier process and what does applier do perform changes for assigned transactions including conflict detection and error handling so the actual work is done by the applier inserting i mean applying the changes but who is helping them receiver preparer and coordinator is a guy who is you know, who is responsible for maintaining the order among these 
apply it. Is that clear? Yes. Right. So let me show you how to like, I'll start and show you one indicated over applicant. It's very damn easy, okay? And there's no nothing, hardly anything to be worried about. It works similarly like your uh, classic for applicant. I mean, adding parts is very easy. Let's make one. That's why I'm four. I give you. So option I gave integer pattern and in the file semantics, we can give two also. And suppose this is the table. How will you add this? This is the suite. Add for replicate integrated EX suite. Replicate RPI integrated. Normally, what you will do EX suite trail. And you give the EX suite trail and then you will put checkpoint table name. That's for the classic. But here in Integrated, you add the word in the rate. Integrated and exp trade. Okay, let me give it the two. I read a and spelling table. Here. You will see the word integrated here. Understanding, right? Yeah, yeah. So here, no need of uh, adding the checkpoint uh, table. No, no, no. These are the internal ones.
right? So this is integrated. We just start also. One thing, array for everything is similar to here uh, class. Okay. Do you want me to show uh, representation by? I mean, inserting a row in the source and all. That is even same. Yeah, I mean, nothing is. Yeah, nothing is new. It will be the same. Only the adding part was uh, what is that? So I show. Okay, so there are few uh, important things actually for integrated. So I hope you can see the slide, right? Yeah. The thing is, they it was introduced. Integrated over replicate was brought from 11.2.0.4, and as you can see, the dependency is based on UK primary key, foreign key at the target database require supplemental logging at the source for these columns and real file must be recorded. For now, even if you're not understanding it, fine. I will. Understand in point number three and four. Okay, thing is, uh, in I mean, if you want to do parallelism, you can just add the core clause parallelism. There's no no need to split the what applicate. I mean. And the integrated extract needs to have these two parameters: log all subcalls. And update record format. So, what does these do? These are extending by direction. I wish you are a better place to take it again. Yeah. All right. So, let's see this fold. Log all sub calls. That's in Golden Cape 12 records the before image of all the supplement log calling for both the update and the operation. It is word clear. Like for example, if you are doing if you have a supplemental logging on all the columns, right? Okay. And for example you have ten columns for the employee and this one and one update, you are changing only the address, but still, all the 10 columns will be logged, isn't it? Because we have these supplemental logging on all the on all calls, right? Yeah, sorry, understand. If you have a supplemental logging on all the columns, what will happen? Hello. If it's not clear, then uh, I can go a bit forward. Hello. Yeah, I'm asking. It's supplemental I think you, your your voice is again uh, going down or. Okay, now audible, right? Yeah, now it's it's clear. Okay, so I'm asking if if supplemental logging is there on all the columns. Okay. Okay. So what can happen? For example. I am doing, I suppose, employee table is having 10 book columns, okay? And I am updating one row and I am changing only the address of one employee. So what all will be stored if supplemental logging is there on all the columns? Okay, in that case, uh, all the columns will be having uh, the pre-image as well as the post image of uh, you know, in 
information in the train in normal file. so will, okay thing is in normal case it will have the post image right not the pre image of all the columns right in normal case i'm saying yeah a pre image will have only yeah pre image only have on the on the updates are uh, happening exactly 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 but pre image you you will not need for the other columns right which are not changed right yes correct exactly. now but with this parameter log all sub calls the before image also will be stored for all the supplemental log columns understanding yes correct right so why how that is afterwards we'll see at least understand this 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 meaning log all sub calls means what it will capture before image see after image is captured by default if the supplemental loop logging is enabled but to capture before image log all sub calls so this will log the supplemental sorry this will log the before image of the was supplemental log co 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 columns okay whenever there is an update or uh, delete operation right yeah yeah to enable the supplemental logging for all columns we will simply uh, add add tran data then you know schema dot table name all calls right correct correct yeah and this one is saying that it's going to uh, have all the pre image for update and delete as well this log yes. all call just a parameter in your yeah. extract rm file you have to just add this in 12 okay. only right in 12 yeah yeah if it is earlier than 12 then these two work can be used that is update sorry that is get update before and no compress updates if it is earlier to 12c yeah there and also we use another parameter that is update record format so what is that so let's see this now when two records are generated for an update to a single row so for example when an update is done on a single row you get two records one having the pre image one having the post image sorry after image right so when you have two records it will incur additional io and processing for both extract and replicate if supplemental logging is enabled on all columns the unmodified columns may be repeated in both the before and after image over record right the overall size of the trail file is i mean like it will increase right what did you understand till here yes actually so the, example, this part yeah this portion uh, was uh, nicely uh, explained in that video so it is clear okay clear right fine so then yeah. i will directly skip over there okay so these two pa pa parameters they are required to to be used okay and then checkpoint table is not required for integrated for application okay so that's why we get ignoring it now this is something very important integrated to web replicate don't apply any dml or ddl so don't be shocked i mean i'm not but i mean like uh, don't just go on saying to everyone they will unnecessarily be confused but yeah if someone who has really done it in the i mean 
internal thing they will understand so thing is the actual work is done by the which one inbound server right yes for applicate is here only ended here work is done that done done here inside right so thing is what applicate is not doing any dml or ddl it is the inbound server what well, replicate process still perform data filtering mapping uh, what transformation data is applied by inbound server is that clear yes but if but if you take classic or and another over replicate which is known as quadi needed then they only do it through sql apply that i will explain to you and then integrated over replicate process only reads okay what is the work of the over replicate it only reads golden gate trail file constructs lcr logical change record and deliver the lcr to the inbound server right i hope the same thing is here right yes yes it is reading the trail file converting them into lcr and transferring it to the inbound server through this api lightweight streaming api inbound server runs inside the oracle database which collects the lcr calculate the dependency groups the transaction and then applies the o transaction to the target it will receive the lcr group them and i mean it will calculate the dependencies and all then it will group them and it will apply them isn't it so that is yeah. in bounds over for you but yes for for simplicity just assume that a replicate is inserting simple both that is why i didn't take this at the start slowly slowly i am opening up we if this i explain at the start then the statement will not hit you right i'm just directly saying it, that the integrated over replicate is not doing any work on it i mean it is not actually applying the data so it can create some for conflict right because very yeah. rarely anyone has uh, written that uh, you know indicator for replicate is not doing the actual work elsewise we you will find the replicate does all the work so that's why any doubt up till now no all right great so non integrated now uh, i want to ask you uh i hope you remember right the checkpoint table did i ever use the checkpoint table for the extract or the pump no i used only for the over replicate right yes um do you think why any any i mean any do you bring any pels why only for for replicate and not for the extract mm. i mean i would say it's an additional overhead na no? instead of what yeah, i have instead of writing to one place i'm writing to the checkpoint file also and the point table also yeah it's an uh, overhead but mm-hmm. definitely it has some uh, usability yes, yes. correct correct so well, let me explain that no first just read this okay when a non integrated it means uh, for classic only so when a non integrated over for replicate uses a checkpoint table 
it uses an asynchronous commit with no wait option to improve the performance asynchronous means what uh, like uh, for example we had only the checkpoint 5 okay first of all, let me read everything but then you will understand okay again i am reading when a non integrated or replicate uses a checkpoint table okay checkpoint table it uses asynchronous commit with no wait option to improve the performance for replicate can continue processing immediately after applying this commit while the database logs the transactions in the background you can disable the asynchronous commit with no wait option by using db option parameter with disable commit no wait in the replicate parameter now wait let's see the what section in the note when the configuration of a non integrated or replicate group does not include a checkpoint table the checkpoints are maintained in a file on the disk that is dir chk in this case replicate uses commit with wait option to prevent inconsistency in the event of a database failure that causes the state of the transaction as in the checkpoint file to be more different than it states after the recovery uh understood even if not it's fine understood or what yeah first uh, para i understood second para i need to uh, read it again sure sure And i could not oh, no problem i'll try to yeah okay explain to you now for, uh, for example there are uh, there were 10 trails okay in the mm. target end which is uh, which is trained by the pump so we replicate read the first tray okay so now here i here we don't have checkpoint table okay so we are uh, i mean just like the extract and pump we are having only the checkpoint file fine yeah so now thing is suppose we replicate right trail file one number one okay and then it will write to the checkpoint file okay i read trail file one immediately it has to write to the means as and when it is over reading the trail trail file one each each information has to write to the checkpoint file also right so when it is over reading two it will write two also here ideally that should be there because the checkpoint file should represent the exact state right of the replicate because for example now if the system crashes and when the system is back online how will the replicate know from where to start it has to be from the checkpoint file right so it will read the checkpoint file ah now it will is okay i was reading two from to this point so it will start again reading from that thing right okay is it yeah. idle way i mean same way it is for the uh, i mean when you are doing when your database crashes right asmon will uh, this one the redo forwarding and that the, i mean that the in the in the instance of recovery right the yeah. redo what is done and then the redo backward right How yeah. it is done because it's there, everything is there in the file, right? So yeah. The information is the latest in the file, so it was able to do. Same way here. Now, for example, it read 
tail file number three and four. Okay, but it did not write it to the checkpoint file. And now, if the system crashes, and when the post system is brought up here, it is having only tail file number two, right? But ideally, three and four were also were read, right? Yeah. So there's the problem with the Ubo checkpoint file. The thing is, in the Ubo checkpoint file, if Ubo replicate has read two or, or, for example, three, until three is written here, it will wait. That is what it says. Commit with wait option. So every I/O it has to wait. Right. Correct. So that is a little bit overhead on the I/O part. Now, what if I have a checkpoint table in the database? A table, right? So what it is doing? Hello, uh, put there, right? Yeah. Yep. So. Here, when it is reading one or two, it is just writing here one two. It is not bothered to commit. Why? Because this is a table, right? A checkpoint table is at the end. They, uh, I mean, it's an object in the data base, isn't it? So whatever yes. update is having to the checkpoint table that will be stored in the redo log right yeah so that is why when you have a checkpoint table the replicate is doing asynchronous commit with no wait option so it's not going to wait the entry to be written in the checkpoint table and being committed and then also being written to the checkpoint file. No, only one place it will go right in an asynchronous manner. Because even if it is not committed now and and if this is crashed, you can recover it from the redo log, right? Yeah. So that's what it is saying. When you have checkpoint table it will do asynchronous commit with no wait option to improve the performance the replicate can continue processing immediately after applying this commit while the database logs the transaction in the background that is in the buridu log file now you can disable it by adding this parameter, disable commit no bit. And in normal case, when the checkpoint file, sorry, the checkpoint table is not there, our applicant uses commit with wait option to prevent inconsistency in the event of uh, database failure that causes the state of the transaction as in the checkpoint file to be different. What different means the state will not be the idle one. Simple. I am saying, I mean, the replicate was supposed to start from four, but since the information in the checkpoint file was not our latest one, it will wrongly start, right? So that's what it means. So having a checkpoint for a uh, table that I understand the reason is that uh, you know if it fails so next time when it will start it will look at the table and then from there it will get the uh, details from where it needs to start reading again. Yeah. That's fine. So ideally it looks at both the checkpoint file and the table also. So why it, need, it needs to look at uh, I mean a table as well if it has having a file already. Because at the time when it is applying the transactions, right, right, right. So it is applying multiple 
transactions right the thing is if you try yeah. put transaction 1 then it will go and write in the checkpoint file then 2 it will it, it has to again go right to the checkpoint file so multiple io are there right so what it will try to do mm. it will first write in the checkpoint table okay immediately okay it will okay. come it at the database over level means it will not wait to update at that point only on the checkpoint file it will apply but as an okay. in an okay. asing way asing way so the checkpoint file will be updated but not immediately but checkpoint okay. table will have everything else every time okay. for update it will have do an io in and go to the disk go to the dir chk update the go check point so that will create lot of issues okay okay that's fine uh, because of that uh, reason it does not uh, i mean it does an asynchronous right to the uh, file checkpoint file correct 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 so why uh, i mean in in classic it's there then why not in you know integrated because same thing is required for integrated as well in build it is there okay in build And one yeah, more thing, yeah. when we are having a table, a checkpoint table, still it needs to needs this checkpoint file. I mean, ah, of course, of course, of course, checkpoint file. If you don't have checkpoint table, it is okay. Checkpoint file, Baba, no, you need it. You need a checkpoint file. Hello. Yeah, though it's like uh, by de- by de- yeah by default uh, when you create the you know sub DIRs it come you know by default. Right, right. So if we uh, try to create a classic replicate without a checkpoint table, it will fail. No, uh, then you need to add this parameter no DB checkpoint table. Okay, no DB checkpoint. the spelling can be wrong but it's yeah i yeah, got it same got one it. okay yeah. so any doubt in this no so far it's okay okay uh, do you guys any one of you guys have the binary of 12.3 ogg 12.3 i think uh, yeah i mean it, i don't have it personally but yeah i mean no i mean can you share with me i'm asking uh i don't think it, it will be your... okay so it's in your office environment right so you can't leave it correct correct uh, correct yeah, yeah. okay i then or, or else i will install uh, over 19c i don't have any other option i want to show you how to replicate why it's not av- when it's the- not available in uh, oracle website uh, i saw only over 19c man okay okay it might be but uh, i okay. don't know it will be a big pain for to search now anyways i'll see to it how i can do it uh because majorly i want to show you how to do an upgradation and how to uh, i mean you know uh my uh, sorry how to for, uh, for example your source is in version 11.1 and your target is in 12.2 then how you must do or the reverse way if your source is 12.2 and target is 11.2 ogg then how to replicate both from higher to lower from below to higher so this is slight uh, way actually to do it so that i okay, was trying okay. to show you 
12.3 actually i uh, downloaded uh, almost uh, uh, seven eight months or nine months back so can i hope local? it will be there or i, mean, I don't know i mean can no, you no, not in local in office uh, oh office in i'll check tomorrow i'll check if it's available in the uh, oracle uh, e, uh, e software delivery please i'll sure, check sure sure please check please check and yeah, in the meanwhile i will try to explain over logically for example this is your source okay this is 11.2 ogg version okay for example 12.2 ogg version okay so first case what do you want or need to show from lower to higher or higher to lower uh, yeah, lower to higher i mean source is lower, lower and target is higher so target is 12.3 or 18 or 119 okay okay uh here i like you to ask yet would do you remember what data pump whatever right in data pump we had this version clause now yes correct why do we use that we use uh, this version when we go to going to import some higher version to a lower lower Full version version okay if you are going from lower to higher do you need that no exactly so same here when my golden gate okay in soul is lower okay so let's try so this extract will make the trail file of which version 12.2 only right yeah what is the version of the source it will be based on that only then pump will read from it and it will also give you the rmt trail with 12.2 only right correct and my replicate here it is in higher version 12.3 and 19 so whatever is there in 12.2 will be of course there in the higher versions na? correct right so this replicate is capable to read 12.2 trail file so no changes is required it will run as it is okay makes it like same as it is like how you use for the put data correct, correct. okay it makes sense yeah. backward compatibility now, is there exactly so now let's do the reverse thing your target is 19c this i will show you in the practical now i'm just explaining you so that my work becomes easy This is your extra. So I will ask you one thing: In which format extract will write the local trail? According to which version extract will write to the local trail? 19C, 18C, or 12.2? Uh, extract should uh, um, you know use the version which is going to the target one that is 12.2 like yeah, I uh, it was... should be forget about that now i'm saying extract is over running in 19c oh what i'm doing i use the wrong this is source this is your source and this is your target yeah. Okay, so source is on a higher version, target is in a lower version, okay. So now in general, I am asking without using anything, extra case for running in source. So this is the trail file. So which version of the trail file it will be, according to which binary, 19C, 
18 CO 12.2. 12.2. I mean, I mean, we need to uh, specify it, you know, uh, extract it in this uh, format. Either correct, here, correct. I'm just, you know, this one is, I'm just, you know, guessing. Uh, either here or uh, doing the replicate, I mean, in, in any of the place. We uh -huh, convert uh -huh. it to this uh, 12 to format. Okay. Now, again, I'll take the example of the data pump. Now you are using version clause in the exp for DP or IMP DP? Definitely exp DP. Exactly. So same here also we have to use in source side only. Source side only, yeah. So here ideally we have to use one clause for my trail. Correct. 12.2 if i don't use this uh, format trail then on which version will it make the trail it will be 19c which is running exactly source. right so with format trail it will create 12.2 version so now pump is coming it will write here now the thing is, extract wrote the trail file. Okay, okay. now for, for example, I have this thing, okay? Format trail. So extract has written the file in 12.2. Now, what do you think in which format pump will send? Same, pump is simply reading those same trail file only no wrong pump at the end is in 19c right huh. it will read this 12.2 trail and send it in 19c format Oops. because pump is up where the pump is up on the 19c right so here in the pump also i will add format trail 12.2 But pump only, it will does the you know, shipping of file only, right? It doesn't do any... Uh... Pump also writes, right? I mean, I know it, it is doing shipping of files, but pump also writes, right? You think yeah, because writes, if you whatever don't... Is put... there. Yeah, there. It, it, yeah, that is true. But at the end, pump is up in 19C, na? The binary of this is active nowhere see pump is going to ship the file but have we tell in which format to ship by default it we use the format of its home okay, shipping thing it. it will do but it will not ship you in the format of the extract trail file i mean in the same version as that of the extract so here in pump also i will tell pump please send the trail file in 12.2 version only so then pump is sending in 12.2 version format so this format trail file right why i am saying this you know uh, people use this in a wrong way they just add only in the extract or only in the pump Ideally, you have to add it in both the places. Okay. Then, uh, if if pump uh, can, I mean, have the ability to do it in the right in the uh, nineteen, I mean, twelve or two format. Is it not sufficient if you only mention in pump? No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. Uh, like uh, we have to mention the format trail 12 or 2 in the. Both, both. Extract um, and pump. 
where we have to mention this parameter for the extract you will mention after the ext trail or oh, this i will show in the practical and in the pump you will rewrite it after the rmt trail so in the param file we have to mention anything yeah these things will be there in the param file only uh -huh. the format trail is going to be written in the parameter file only okay fine fine i got it. okay thank you Is that okay? Yep. All right. Okay. Any doubt in uh, anything today? No. Today, whatever you discussed is fine. Okay. So, okay. Fine. Okay. Then uh, I'll stop it for now. All right. Yeah. Go you ahead. can. Uh, uh, recording okay. yeah one uh, one thing just uh, yeah, yeah please please uh, if you just uh, stop the recording then fine yeah. oh. this conference will now be recorded so yes for example um if there is lag in your over applicate okay now i'll just talk about the your applicate only and your application folks they sometimes argue you know why there is lag and all so thing is first thing you have to ask them did was there any unplanned activity was there any huge data load from your end application team will always say no i have seen it for later <laughs> so yeah. i mean what i saw you know uh, i saw the count of the table in source side and the stats mm -hmm. like in stats like uh, where you have the in DBA objects, you have the num underscore boros, isn't it? Yes, correct. Yeah. So thing is, we uh, yeah we have a stat job once a week on Saturday. I don't know it is okay. on Friday, sorry, on Friday. And then these guys they deleted almost half the row rows on Sunday. Okay. So that is why. The performance was low because the plan, because of bad, because the plan was bad, right? Okay. So it was taking a bad plan due to the incorrect stats. Now the stats are not uh, right, right? Now, like in the numbers, it is showing 10 million, but actually there are only two. So, so, so the plan was changed, and I had I had asked application team, did you guys do anything? They are saying no, it is a normal flow and all. So fine. <laughs> so, so identified, then we blasted them in the mail. If whenever you are doing any operation, which will change almost more thirty or fifty percentage of the data, please collect these stats also. Even they can do it. Like if they have, I mean, access to the objects, even they can gather these stats. Yeah, they are objects. They they can gather stats. Exactly. So thing is, you know, it's like uh, I mean, so how we identified that we just checked which SQL ID the replicate is working on, and first we check is there any blocking. Is there is any session which is blocking the replicate? Okay, if it is not okay. there, then we check the SQL ID and then we ran the STA, SQL Tuning Advisory. Or yes, you can correct. check that with your perf guys. So there we got that the stats was not uh, up to date. So that's how you have to get in hold of the application team. Sometimes they try to, you know, uh, they try to create panic. Why there is like, always, why there is like, come on, 